filming me cleaning? Yeah. I bet you do some. I'm just going to see how good it comes. I could do it. So just it's really, it's just a crease. So. Yeah. So I've sprayed here. I'm going to yeah. just spray. Yeah. And do. Do you want me to go around to and spray in it and you wipe it? Well. So I've done to, I've done to there. Yeah. Where they've got these. I'm supervising. That's my job. Look at that. Uh, that's why it really they're good because you can throw them on them. I haven't even straightened my hair. Look, look, look like a million dollars. No, all green and cream clay. And you know if I've got any spiders on me around here, I'm going to... Well, you, I see how you sprayed. I did ask. Have you seen I haven't said that yet, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to open the box, you know. Well, that is an odd job. No one is sitting there. Do you know in that shed over there? Yeah, I'm yeah. You're gonna roll your eyes, but there's a box of Christmas decorations in there. Yeah, I'm gonna fetch out. Yeah. Another day. Oh, okay. Doing this for you. I'm only gonna concentrate on one thing. Yeah, it's hard enough me cleaning yeah. this. You ain't cleaning it. That's not the point. I've got your coffee here for after. No, I've made that. You've made your one coffee a day. You know, after, when I start moaning, like, that I can't move, it's your fault. Start moaning. Start. Dog's eating his chair. Huh? Can you duck so that they, they can see what you're doing? Eh? Nothing. Someone's gonna get hurt. Cruising for a bruising. That looks a lot better. I'm glad we did that. Because it'll pay dividends. Do you, you know, know what? I'm gonna hurt you. And you know that? I'm gonna hurt ya. So I'll be, I'll be giving morning after I'm saying I can't move. I need to go to bed. Yeah, let me take over. And it That's very kind of you, Ray. Oh, that's a brilliant job. Then <laughs> hold that. And I'll, um... I need to sit down there. Oh God, my hair's a mess. Oh God, wrong way. <laughs> Stay to me, Jesus crikey. If I won the lottery, I'd have a few nip and tucks. That's it, all done. Oh, put it away. Today's dinner is, it's what we call in this household, should I say. Still having trouble with my voice. It is called a healthy fry up. Now, it's eggs done without no oil. Mushrooms, fried, 
with a slight bit of oil. Beans. Oh, uh, where are they? Yeah, beans. Yes, I know they're full of sugar, but you know, I've got scrambled eggs. We've got two sausages and one for the dog. We're doing those in the air fryer. And we've got burgers, lean burgers, or one each, uh, which we do on the other side of the air fryer. And that's it. Uh, we don't use any more oil than that. We use the air fryer to do the sausages because we find that's the um, healthiest way to all the fat trips off. Uh, it's not totally healthy, but it's healthier than it can be. Nothing's fried. Nothing's fried. <laughs> Wife's over there. Dinner is dished out, healthy fry up. So it's all done healthily. The dog's got sausage. Um, he probably will have that one. That's them quite big sausages, so he might have that other off later. Might have a bit of my burger, a bit of a pig style look, and that is Andy's. Now I wouldn't eat them scrambled eggs because they look a bit snotty to me. Beans and all that, some bread. So he's got some bread with his butter. <laughs> anyway, we're going to give him a snack. So we'll just leave it. I'll just die to see you after. So my little boy's not been well. So he loves these things. These are um we got these when we was in Great Yarmouth. There wasn't very much, but I'm trying to tempt him because he's a bit offish today. Let's see if he wants one of these. Right. Can I open it? Oh. Right, now I can't. Let me get some scissors. Oh dear. Can't see me. <laughs> Righty ho. So let's see if I can tempt this boy. Do you want one of those? See if he's gonna have one. Let's give him a nice juicy big one. What's that? Is that nice? Now I usually say stick. Uh, oh, he's, he's happy with that, look. <laughs> Is that nice? Looks like I've tempted him. Yes. What's this, look? Now I know before I gave him one and after a while he started growling at me because he is that nice peanut. Oh look at him. This pampered pooch. Well is he enjoying that bother by the looks? Yes he's that should keep him um, a bit happy. So, let him enjoy it before he starts growling at me. Oh, he's gone off now. <laughs> there you go. I leave him be anyway, being he's a bit offish. I don't know if <clears throat> I've ever talked about this, but a couple of years back we was gonna have uh, an external plug fitted to the garden wall but I thought there's a better way so what I did I bought don't know if you can see them two batteries there's an inverter a Victron solar panel the fuses are all at the back there's a fuse going from the batteries to the inverter and there's also a fuse going to the solar panels uh, and uh, yeah 
I would like lithium but that costs too much. So that stuff powers the things like strimmers. I've got some lights, floodlights, it powers those. Uh, it charges some the cordless strimmer as well. It also powers, which is the main thing, is the hot tub. Now, initially when I fill it up, I use the mains power to get it up to temperature. And then I plug it into the solar panel system just to maintain that heat. But uh, I'll just show you the solar panels. On the roof, there's two 120 watt solar panels. All the wiring's relatively neat. Uh, it's tucked at the back. It's got an inline fuse in it. Uh, it's been there for about a year and a half now it's maintenance free uh, but it's free electric I, I've never run out of power in the winter we hardly do anything in here so it's literally just powering lights uh, but come April, May it charges up before 11 o'clock easily um, it's on a uh, float which means the batteries are full uh, they're in parallel I think it's parallel it keeps it at 12 volts going to the inverter um, but yes uh, I need to install a kill switch to keep meaning to do and I will get to it I mean uh, but yeah it's uh, it saves that in stopping the storm there um, but yeah I've, uh, I've done a bit more and a bit of streaming there a bit here. I've still got that to do and that a little bit there. Uh, I don't cut the grass. Um, Lisa's uh, daughter's I think it was about two years ago they brought me a robot mower. I'm telling you, if you've got mobility issues, it's the best thing. You uh, you have to install a wire going around the boundary, sort of here, so it don't go over. And. Uh, the, it's plugged into the solar panel as well, so that solar panel charges it up. And uh, you kind of just let it do its job. It doesn't do fancy lines. And it, you know, it might take two or three goes, but it keeps it all nice and short. Uh, I mean, I love grass, but it's. Uh, Again, it's just uh, not capable of um, pushing a lawnmower up and down, up and down. Uh, Lisa's on the phone, yabbiting on. Uh, and that's about it, really. Still tidying the garden, putting things away for the winter. So, 
much it sees you uh, in a bit. Keep safe.